Interestingly, the tuxedo did not begin as formal wear. Rather, it was seen as a less formal alternative to men's formal wear. Until the early 20th century, gentlemen wore frock coats for formal wear, choosing a black frock coat with tails and gray striped trousers for formal wear during the day. A black frock coat with tails, a white waistcoat, sometimes referred to as a vest, white shirt with stiffened bosom, and black trousers were worn with a black silk top hat and was the typical formal evening wear for gentlemen. About the turn of the century, legend suggests that American gentlemen in and around Tuxedo Park in New York, an enclave of the wealthy, chose to simplify formal wear and drop the fancy tail coats preferred for evening wear. They chose instead to wear a black coat styled much like their work suit coats. The gentlemen thought they could then wear these simple black trousers for semi-formal occasions. The jackets, known as tuxedo jackets, were often decorated with rich black silk satin on the lapels and that detail persists in many tuxedos today. The ribbon stripe on the outside edge of conventional tuxedo trousers may be reminiscent of the gray striped trousers popular for day formal wear in the 19th century. By the second decade of the 20th century, the black tuxedo had supplanted the formal black tailcoat as acceptable formal and semi-formal wear. The wealthy had their fine tuxedo jackets and matching trousers made by a personal tailor in the early 20th century. However, with the development and refinement of the American ready-to-wear industry, tuxedos were available in standard sizes by the early 20th century. Today, few men own such suits, instead they are frequently rented for special events. There is no question that today we see these suits as quite formal and do not consider them semi-formal. Colors and styles are varied today, including bright colors, patterns, double-breasted styles, even long coats are popular again. The design of the tuxedo is only as limited as the imagination can create and the market can bear.